Hello everyone, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I have something brand new here that I want to show you. This is brand new in the PowerWorks lineup and Gigaparts. My friends at Gigaparts were kind enough to let me borrow it. And this is the PowerWorks FSP 300W. This is a 300 watt foldable solar panel or solar blanket. And guys, you may have seen other videos on my other channel on the Ponderosa where I have a lot like on my solar uh, off-grid RV where I can run air conditioner and everything. And I got things set aside for hurricane season. I'll always have power free from the sun to charge things and to operate radios and to keep batteries running with solar. Solar is great. And this one is cool because of the fact that it's only 20 pounds. It's less than two feet square. Very easy. It's a good balance between high efficiency, 300 up to 300 watts of solar with only 20 pounds. Carrying case folds up and it's got a lot of potential to have something like this. So I'm going to borrow this from Gigaparts here, give you a tour about it, show you all about it, and then look in the description below for any promo codes that may be available for discounts on this unit from Gigaparts. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com. Okay, so one good thing to know is if you do look at my other channel, The Ponderosa, uh, I have a couple of videos explaining the differences in solar technology, monocrystalline, thin film, polycrystalline, and such. And I do have a couple of other types of foldable solar blankets, one in my go kit for ham radio. The difference is that one that I have, I bought at a ham fest used, and that solar panel only puts out about 40 to 50 watts. It does the job in full sunlight, but it's nothing compared to something like this. And let's take a look at this. This is pretty cool. This is six uh, cells, monocrystalline, okay? Monocrystalline being the most highest efficiency. And it's got the eyelets in the corners, okay? So that, and the sides here. So you can hang this thing on an RV. You can hang it in a tree. It does get on flat ground like this up to 90% efficiency, even if it's not facing directly at the sun. The sun right now is about that way. So it is overhead. And I'm probably getting most of the efficiency just laying like this. But uh, you have the ability to prop it up a little bit in your certain situation. So two by three, okay? So uh, this is a two by three, meaning there's two, two cells here in uh, probably parallel, 12 volts, and then 12, 12, 12 in series, has an operating circuit voltage of 36 volts, okay? Um, here's how this would work. So what you'd wanna do, and I'm gonna show you the connectors on the back. What you'd wanna do is have an MPPT charge controller if you're gonna use this for maximum efficiency at 12 volts. The reason is, this puts out 36 volts. You would not connect any solar panel directly to a battery, no good. But how would you charge 12 volt devices with a 36 volt panel? Well, again, on my other channel, the Ponderosa, I explain an MPPT uh, charge controller versus a PWM would mean it takes extra voltage and brings it down to the level you're charging the batteries and all the extra voltage overhead gets converted into current. So if this is pulling in 36 volts at eight amps the way it is, when you run it through an MPPT, it's going to drop it down to, uh, say, 15 volts for charging a 12 volt battery. But now you're going to be charging upwards of close to 16 to 18, almost 20 amps. Okay. And the multi power point tracking uh, really makes it more efficiency with any solar panel, more efficient to uh, collect every bit of sun and use the extra uh, voltage overhead from the full sunlight converted down to 12 volts. And it you know, gives you extra current as well. So, on this solar panel here, on the back, this is what's cool. On the back of this, there is a little carrying case and a three foot supplied cable with MC4 connectors. Now MC4 connectors, another video on my other channel, I show how to put these on. I have the kit over there and I can put MC4 connectors crimped onto any other device. And now it's a quick connect for solar. These are very common on solar MC4. The other two panels I have do not have MC4. They have Anderson PowerPole or they have some 
what's the other one, uh, some Motorola connector that you've seen in the past. And um, so I bought the appropriate cables for those, but now this is more common for this type of solar panel. So that's kind of why I like this. I wish I had this in my, uh, in my stash, you know, because you can do a lot with this. Let's say you just don't want to charge batteries. Let's say you want to use something like the Samlex Power 300 watt pure sine wave DC to AC inverter. Now, you couldn't run a microwave on this. You couldn't run uh, an air conditioner, but you can run a lot of stuff, light bulbs, you know, uh, uh, laptop chargers, you know, even a, a Nintendo Wii, it says on here. And uh, small TVs that are probably LED, maybe, you know, 32 inch small LED TV with minimal noise because it's pure sine wave. So what you would do is connect this panel with the MC4 connectors, all right, to uh, a suitable MPPT solar charge controller. And you would charge through a charge controller to a battery. Then you'd connect, connect this uh, or any pure sine wave inverter, pre preferably pure sine wave, to the battery. Now, you'd be pulling power. You'd have 110 volt outlets here and a couple USB for charging phones. The solar panel charges the battery. The battery powers the inverter. So for hurricane season, for those boondocking, RVing, let's say you don't need an air conditioner. You just want a whole bunch of lights in your laptop and stuff, some phone chargers or weather station, whatever you got to power up that doesn't use too much power. Although this with 300 watts is a lot more efficient than either one of the other portable solar panels that I have. So I can do a lot with this. A field day for ham radio, I could use this for um, uh, out in the, it, it, wherever. A lot, I could come up with a lot of different scenarios. Now, let me show you something here. Now this is an example of just a very cheap Chinese pulse width modulated PWM solar charge controller. I would not recommend using one of these. $20 with a panel like this because of the fact that you're going to lose a lot of your efficiency and a lot of your power from this in this. This is going to waste a lot of it. So you're not going to see the full output or the benefit of having this panel with something like this. Uh, an MPPT charge controller, a good one, can be up to $100, $150, and uh, it will definitely make it more efficient. I recommend that. But this one right here is basically just to take some solar and give you some sort of output. But this will also not do 36 volts. So something like this, make sure you pair up a suitable charge controller with a panel that will allow you to do 36 or 48 volts in and then drop it down to say 12 volts or even 24 volts for certain applications. Now here's my um, MC4 crimp connector kit, okay? And you can see that I have, you know, the, the crimpers, the tools, some more connectors. So I could easily, very easily, buy this on Amazon, the link is in the description as well, for say $20, $25, however much I've paid for this kit. Plug it on here and extend your cables out. And one thing to remember, if you are gonna extend this for a longer cable, make sure you use a heavier gauge wire. Uh, uh, eight gauge, six gauge, something, because you don't want the loss in the cable going out 100 feet. Again, 300 watts could be possible right here. By the time you get it over there with the wrong charge controller, you may only be putting out 50 to 100 watts worth of efficiency. So keep that in mind. Um, overall, if there's any uh, discounts available in the codes from Gigaparts, look in the description below and you may see a code. Use that code at the Gigaparts website and save. Thanks from my friends at Gigaparts. But if you look at this, when I fold this up, imagine you're out in the field. There's nothing greater than having free power from the sun. Okay. And uh, one, take this one. Two, like this, take this, and no, I didn't fold it the right way. So just like that, you can fold this thing up, and away you go, you have portable power. The PowerWorks FSP300W, I like it, it's a lot lighter, 20 pounds, not even two foot. It wouldn't really fit in your go bag, but it would fit anywhere if you got a vehicle, or an RV, or a closet, or storage. Keep power whenever you need it with this kind of power panel. I like it. Stay tuned, more videos on the way, and uh, maybe I'll put this to a test also, see what I could pull off of this thing if I get a chance. 7-3, this is KJ4YZI.